Hello! Welcome back to Roslyn. If you're watching on YouTube, this should be episode 33. Thanks for joining me live on Twitch if you're here. Uh, today, um, I'm taking a big step in uh, Roslyn's infrastructure. Plan is um, to add a highway connection uh, over here. This is going to be important because up to this point, the city really is one giant cul-de-sac. Um, you know, this is quite uh, an interchange here. This feeds in from, you know, two major roads and meets up with a third here, which was this highway that was all outside of our original starting square. Um, starting square, of course, like down here. Really all, though, the entire city's access to the highway can be cut off at one point, and that's not ideal in an emergency situation. You know, if there was ever uh, a problem with a train or, um, you know, some sort of uh, mudslide potentially or an earthquake in an area like this, you know, not that I play with natural disasters on personally, but uh, considering a little bit of realism with it, um, I think it's well merited that the city have at least one more major highway interchange. And I think the spot for that is right over here. So the plan is to take Factory Street, which of course like is the backbone of the city here. Um, coming all the way down from the yards in the starting square there. Past Worker Square, past the train station, s train stations, plural, and Fairfield Farm. Um, you know, it gets a little, there's a couple blocks here that I don't think have really found their character yet. Uh, and then, you know, the Eureka Center, um, all of these shopping centers, the unique buildings, plus a major train station, a lot of offices. Um, obviously, again, some open space and, you know, some really um, basic neighborhoods, I guess is the, the way I'll say it out here. As, you know, I had the grid here and Roslyn had immense residential demand, it made sense. Now, we spent last episode doing quite a bit to develop our um, unemployment level, which is holding now at around 6%. Uh, I think we can take that down a little further, and I think that's important because, you know, at a certain point, we will run out of squares. It's a console build, and it's really important to me to have a really natural look to where the city's boundaries are. Um, you know, initially I had thought about expanding over here quite a bit. Uh, the longer I've played this map, the more I kind of like having the river as a natural boundary. Um, you know, I can't really come up with a good reason why this wouldn't be developed. I think it obviously would. I mean, there's already an abandoned factory back there, which suggests this is primed for development. Um, it's all incredibly flat land. You know, I think, and may maybe, maybe the answer is to put in some kind of small suburb here and give up some more of this out here, you know, um, just to give the city sort of an edge. But, you know, looking at what's happening over here right now, we have a really hard edge right here uh, that I've tried to sort of play around by just, um, you know, doing what I can. But like that is primo real estate right there. I really want that. And obviously today, we have one tile available and we're going to take it here because this is where we're going to make our highway connection. So let's get into this. First thing I want to do is back all of this off. We have plenty of room here. There's no need to try to force this in at a bad angle. Um, so really the first thing I want to do, and actually maybe this is a good chance to use something a little more interesting. Is this the four lane? Yeah, okay. So I think 
it's not unreasonable to expect we might see a little bit of grading out here. You know, well, I mean, maybe this is really destroying wetlands is what I'm doing right now, honestly. And, you know, we can sort of, uh, uh, try to fake this, um, you know, with a little bit of detailing, I'll just kind of sketch these in now and see if we can't save a little bit of this, uh, because as I'm like filling it in, I'm realizing like this is all floodplain. Uh, this could be nice, rich territory here. I think, you know, this will be a really primo real estate through here. We'll see what happens, but let me not destroy all of it, you know. Now we got to think about our interchange here, right? I think the way to do this is... Um, What's it called? A park low? Partial clover leaf? I really want to do something basically similar to what's already up here. Um, obviously it's going to have it to be a little differently shaped and potentially more compact um, for the space we have to work with here. So why don't I start trying to figure this out? One down. I think obviously this is going to come out kind of like right here. Go ahead and turn my road guidelines off. So I come in here with a nice straight. guess maybe I placed these a little prematurely. It's like now I can kind of see really where I want this line to be. Okay, then I'm going to change the direction here. I don't know that the railroad would be excited about this happening this close to their whole setup here. I guess that's not too bad. This bit's still a little wonky though, isn't it? Here we go. That looks like a better connection there. I actually really like that a lot better too. So that means we gotta come back in here, drop all that back down. There we go. Okay, swap these back around. That's looking a little more like a highway interchange and a little less like a set of testicles, so we'll take it. 
And then what if I bring these trusses in here? Can't do it, huh? That's interesting. Could I draw them in? Very interesting. Space would be occupied, huh? Wants me to go up another whole level, huh? That is just straight through the roads. That's so goofy. Okay. So just do a little bit of that. Okay. Okay, I don't hate that. So the way to do this is I just pop up um, with the, the, I guess what do you call it? So I'll take the shift terrain tool, I'll elevate the terrain, then I'll come in here and I'll take the leveler, select my level spot with uh, square on PlayStation. Um, so it would be X on Xbox, I don't even know. Uh, and then come through here and do all this. And obviously this is going to create some rough spots. So then we're going to come through here, reduce the brush size. And we're just going to like tap this back a little bit until it looks a little less gross. Yeah, we'll just do this this uh, we can just kind of generally smooth that area out really we can kind of do that through here everywhere uh, especially these spots where we still have like a little bit of jaggedness um, let's see I mean honestly this works pretty well right here it just doesn't give me quite the level of control that I'd like so I'm just gonna come through again tap 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 and I'll show you the reason why I do this is when you get the elevated highways, you get these nice barriers even on your exit ramps. And I just don't think you'd have an exit ramp out here without some sort of barrier to protect people who might be going too fast, um, especially with the railroad right here. They're not going to want people flying off of uh, an embankment here into the railroad. And sure, I can come through and do all that with fencing, and that's fine, but it is not the same um, as just having it built in right there. So that's why I do that. Um, and I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I think the results kind of speak for themselves. And, you know, I think it really looks sort of how... Uh, how you see a lot of highway interchanges like this done now. Um, you know, really, it would be like if we could use a key wall right here, I think that would make it even better. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side to a lesser extent, obviously. Um, but just, you know, I think you see this every time I've s seen them, I saw, I've watched, uh, you know, some kind of highway exit or entrance get put up. Um, on the highways where I grew up uh, a lot of the times you see they build these mounds on either end of it and then they kind of bridge across that um, and so that's really what I'm trying to simulate here okay and I think that's looking pretty good obviously we still need to tie in from the other side of the highway here and I think actually what I'm going to do for that is back these up a bit come back through with we want our exits I want to go free form I think I'm going to turn this off There we go. You 
you can see even just so like in my snapping options here I have my elevation step it starts way up here you can bring it all the way down the, the lowest of the three levels there and then if I just go up once it barely gives me any rise at all really and that's exactly what I'm looking for That's just coming in at such a strange angle there. We'll bring back that up and then yeah, that looks a little better. And then we'll go ahead and do the same sort of setup over here. In fact I'll even you know, we clearly do not need to go as high. Um okay. I think this looks pretty good. Um you know, still quite testicular out here, uh, but <laughs> say la vie. Okay. And now we gotta think about how we're gonna get over to Factory Street here. Why? It's giving me a, a big hump. little bit without messing things up too much. That's the only thing I'm just going to come in with these for now. Like that's... why is that like that? That's so horrible. Okay. Can get it in one span. Trying to get it in one span here. I'm going to go ahead and bring this across like this, just so I can do the same thing right here. Uh -huh. That's a little strange. So why don't I just see if we can smooth that out just a little bit. Sorry about that, folks. Just part of the fun of living in the city. And the traffic noise. Let's see, this is not very level either. I'm not really sure why. Okay, now comes the moment of truth. Wow, okay. I think unfortunately, I have to back this up further because I did biff this just a little bit. is like exactly that point. I eyeballed that pretty well, <laughs> I think. <laughs> what if we just come through and try to straighten this out completely? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good actually. And that's, it's not quite actually, so. Just back this up just enough there and then do our nice oof, that's not it nice gentle curve in there 
I think this will connect up like this. And like that. So throwing things a little bit off cue off, off kilter there, but it looks pretty natural I think. Gives us some nice clean blocks to work with. The grid. And a little bit of room for some more interesting stuff. Okay, so then I want to come back through. I guess we really don't need this or any of this. Um, and we'll grab this. Just come through like so. And out here, I think this still makes sense. I think there's a pretty high probability that this area out here will get developed. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like across the bridge there. Pretty garbage. And in fact, I think I want to switch to... How does this look here? And I think this might be the play for now just for efficiency's sake. Um, if this area develops more, certainly we can do more with it. I just want to make sure this is going to be Factory Street all the way out here. And this will be the Factory Street exit as opposed to the Brown Street exit. And we definitely want to make that a priority road. And while we're looking, let's just go ahead and see. Yep. Okay. That all looks pretty good like that. Now, I want to see if we get any traffic. Probably not. I think it's probably still going to be more efficient for most. Oh, having some crime problems out at the mines, I guess. Oh, is this the problem? This is off. So it can't be serviced. So when the cops drive by, it wasn't doing anything. Because that's... Headquarters for city service vehicles. Yeah, garbage is piled up. No kidding. Oh my god. Okay. Well, glad we figured that out. Hopefully we'll see that get taken care of shortly here. Let's go ahead and check. Unemployment has dropped down to 5%. You know, it still could be lower. Uh, I think... We might play around with some of that out here. You know, there's obviously room for some more agricultural development out here. Um, again, weirdly dick-shaped. Uh, this is all oil out here that we could still suck out of the ground and just truck back to, to crest fields there. Which, by the way, that's the other thing I wanted to do. So this is crest... oil and I think it makes more sense for this neighborhood to be called Crest Fields because it would have sprung up around the Crest Fields and then we could just call this Crestville because it really is sort of the heart of that area there okay so let's see what else we got going on and obviously that one should connect in here road tool. Let's try to come in nice and clean right there. Actually, maybe it makes more sense for park to come down here. Honestly. So we'll see about that. I don't know what's going to happen over here. I think this might get moved around a bit. So, now this has obviously got to connect back up here. Honestly, I'm going to get rid of all of this. I 
This is pretty lazy here, to be totally real. Okay, I want to bring this. Uh... So that's sort of ultimately what I want to do here. Oop, that was not it. for a bus turn around. Let me put that back. Honestly, I'm going to dezone all this. I want to free up some space to do more interesting things still. I love how Roslyn has gone and had this very blocky uh, feel throughout all of it, but I think it'd be nice to mix it up a little bit, you know? Um, where are they sick from? Is that a noise thing? I guess so. Okay, I'll tell you what I can do, pal. We can get rid of this. This. We'll put in some more offices, okay? How does that sound? And that did clear up the illness, it looks like. Here we go. Here comes one. And that's already leveled up. Isn't that cool? This is a good neighborhood for the game's mechanics. Ooh, we got stuff going up. Oh, they're happy now that the noise is gone. I think that increased the land value enough. Okay, let's go ahead and check on the land value. I mean, I can't imagine how much higher you'd want it to be. Anyway, where was I? Okay, obviously we gotta pull the fencing out of here. So if I just hold down uh, X, on the PlayStation here and on the Xbox, um, it'll just delete all of this fencing once I still have deleted one of them. And even more importantly, it will only delete the fencing. I think that's pretty cool. That's something that has saved me a lot of time. There we go. Oh, we are seeing some traffic out here. Let me slow that back down. It's a tourist who is headed to... Oh, cool. So you can come down to Roslyn Street. Isn't that convenient? I like that a lot. Cool. And then this should be Park, right? Park Street. Yeah, we do want that to be Park. Priority. Cool. Okay, looking good. Go ahead and check that. Unemployment down to 4%. We'd love to see it. Okay, so this is not a super exciting episode, but I wanted it to be kind of short and sweet. I'd love to do more short and sweet episodes. Oh, wait, let's see who's using this. Okay, is that one of our oil trucks? Ooh. So that is from 
one of the tank farms exporting oil. That's very cool. We're seeing it used. Who else is out here? Uh, this guy lives out here, Crestfields. He works a factory down on the, the oil plant there. Walter Hervey. Very cool. Welcome home, Walter. What else we got coming in here? Oh, our inner city buses are going to come in this way. That's a really interesting development. I actually... Nope, I don't want to do that. Oh my god. Hope I didn't just mess this up. Let's just see what route this takes. Because I am really curious about specifically how people are going to get to the university from this interchange. That's interesting. First, let me hold up for a second because I don't want people... I don't want this to stop. I want that to stop. Okay. And then we'll come back in on this. So it is going to take the Roslyn Street, which makes sense. And that very much feels like the kind of thing a bus would do to come into a city. If you've ever taken an inner city bus line, um that the hardest part of arriving anywhere is waiting for the bus to finally come in via you, know, you get off on the interchange you're like oh we're finally here and sometimes it's still another 15 to 20 minutes just to get to the station but look at this you've been coming in on Roslyn Street you know you're here uh, obviously still a lot we can do right here really cool exciting opportunities I think now I wanted to leave myself room to densify, that's really what this is about. The challenge is going to be, if I'm already struggling with unemployment, which I'm not now I guess, it's low, but um, you know, that's that's sort of the thing, the, the key balance to maintain is, is jobs to residents um, to have sort of sustainable growth. And so I think that there's going to have to be some other avenues of industrial expansion. Um, so the farm, maybe some more oil over here. Um, you know, I could see I mean, this coast is going to be super valuable, but maybe this forested area right here could be turned into some kind of, uh, let's just put some kind of industrial back here a little more, you know, we'll redo that water treatment plant, obviously. Um, you know, and then the other big thing is as the city continues to educate, we can keep adding offices um, and and shops. And we check in right now. Um, Ross Polly is at three stars. Uh, we were up, you know, I wonder. Um, we've got plenty of capacity. I think maybe what happened is I did set a couple of more neighborhoods to schools out. Um, not North Roslyn, but Crest Fields is now schools out. Uh, obviously, there's the education boost there. Um, what about Fair Fairfield's not. Grandchildren is schools out. And the daughters at school's out. So I'm just checking the over-educated workers totals here. Because that's going to tell me quite a bit about um, the lay of the land. Anyway, so, you know, that balance is going to be key. And the other thing is, like, I spammed down a bunch of mines out here. And these are, like, pretty full up. So that's, like, 100. Two, that's over 200 workers right there. That's a lot of jobs in a city this size. I mean, that definitely puts us over 13k. It probably made a significant dent in that unemployment figure we were looking at earlier. Um, so I need to think beyond just residential expansion. I need to think more industrial expansion. If you have thoughts, let me know. I mean, I think another obvious candidate here potentially is to do more with our forestry area um, and really become a timber powerhouse. Um, you know, we could look at some more hospitality and tourism options. 
especially because the trade school has um, the tourism and travel. So we wanted to make Roslyn more of a destination. Um, it would make sense to have something like this. Um, yeah. But for today, I am pretty excited about, you know, I know this probably seems boring, but this is really exciting for me. This is something I have wanted to do really since Roslyn started to take shape. Um, since, uh, you know, I first started building the city in this direction, I knew that inevitably I was going to buy that square and add in a second interchange there because it was really going to be essential for almost a half of the core bit of the city here, as you can see. I mean, everything to the right side of um, Crest Avenue, obviously, because it comes right down here to all the, the Crest Oil. Uh, but everything to the right side of that here was only going to have one railway in and out of the city, and that is a it's a big area. There's not a lot there right now, but I think there will be. And so having this interchange over here is going to mean that I don't create a bunch of traffic problems as the city continues to expand in this direction. And I think this will connect up over here as well, too. Obviously, there's a lot of opportunity for that. And I think it would be nice to bring some more trains into the build. Um, so that's something I'm going to be thinking about for sure, too. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for joining me. Check out the rest of the series on YouTube. Um, yeah, and come back next time. Roslyn will be here. Bye.